Yeah, only physically. Haha, uh -huh, funny. <laughs> Uh, if everybody's curious why the stream is starting at like 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 8 p.m. Uh, Silver's Time, it's because I had work and I immediately went to sleep as soon as I got home and I slept uh, until 8.30 when I woke up, realized I had missed uh, the first starting time and um, yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, the good news is we're well rest. Well, uh, Scraps is well rested for a longer stream now. Uh, okay, so let's go. What? Say again? You can't get in touch with Lord. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. I hope he is not dead. Or else you shall all dance for me. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter, which I've already done. No! What is it? I have a report, sir. The crystal, the, the crystal star in the Boogly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. You must be joking. What about Lum Lord Crump and the Shadow Siren? I am joking, sir. We actually got what it. Now I'm lying. That's the joke. I no. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing! This Mario character! What kind of person are they? Speak, expert! What is the status of the other crystal stars? I love the trill you're at. <laughs> I apologize, uh, sir! We are still searching for the other crystal stars! Unsuccessfully, sir! Sir, well, sir! We make it successful! We knew three of them! Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, and when we got in Rogueport! That means there are four crystal stars left out there! And we will have them! Keep looking so Mario does not beat us to the punch, or I will punch you! Yes, sir! Don't punch me! Kick me instead! Blue one, execute him as soon as he's out of the door! As suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has the map. He must. <laughs> Listen up, you. I want you to get close watch on what Mario does from now on. Yes, sir. At 12 p.m., he scratched his butt. Wonderful. Give me pictures. I need pictures of Mario's ass. Mario, I loathe you. Mario, my beloved. He just pulls out a photo, Hey Arnold style. Yeah, like the the locket. <laughs> that is my favorite gag oh, from Hey Arnold. My... It's it's the. Oh one wait, this was this is your. Oh Mario, did you ever read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Maybe. Look at I... me. I'm... I haven't been fed. I'm wasting away. Oh, oh, you forgot to change the name from Twilight Princess again. Oh, dang it. Yeah. I'm going to do that immediately after this stream ends. I just will you never just, remember. You can, you can pause it and do it right now. Then, Then that's cutting into game time. Is it really worth it? Yeah, because you're. Neither of us. Are, we said we were going to do it after the last stream and we both forgot. Okay, I'll do this real quick. Uh, uh, luckily, you don't have to, like, end the stream or anything. You just have to go to the stream and edit the title and game from uh, the Twitch website. Yeah. I like the music. It's very. Uh, it sounds like uh, Boone's hitting uh, wine glasses. You know, like the uh, very long bottle. The very long. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. I was hoping if you could help me, came. Well, that was creepy. Oh, wait, no. <clears throat> that was creepy. 
That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Did he read it? I know that man's illiterate. No. Is that so? Well, shame. So what do you want from me today? <clears throat> Is there more you want to know of love? I do not yes, recall what I voice want I was to know doing. What <laughs> uh, it, it was sort of like gravelly and deep. Like, uh... Okay. You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? I regret not being able to dance with a ball. It is a different thing. Excuse me, were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you, including in the bathroom. But it is odd when you said that I had no impulse to dance with you as well. Had M. How had my... M. He wants to dance with her. <laughs> oh. How my CPO would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Unfortunately, I cannot dance as I lack feet. Find out what caused it? There's no, re there's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are well a computer. Which means you are incapable of dance. Princess Peach, come dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. You don't even have two left feet. What am I supposed to do? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how I in the world... I call from a person that was singing as he slid down. It is very tall. You have no arms, no feet, or moves. You can't even bust a move. Would this be an, accept an acceptable sense substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Yes, it is in your likeness in every measurement. Oh, all right, I guess. No, neither of us will be virgins. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. I I'm have two left feet. Press the buttons as they are display on the screen. Yeah, I'm giving tutorials now. Deal with it. I'm dancing with myself. Oh, oh, dancing with myself. Well, there's nothing to lose and there's nothing to prove. Well, I'm dancing with myself. Who's that? Billy Idol, I think? I don't know. Uh, yes, it was Billy Idol. David Cage, eat your heart out. This is how quick time events are done. Yep, yeah, this is it. This is yeah. the most engaging quick time event I've ever been involved in. Yeah. Occasionally she turns. Thank you, Princess Peach. It was very fun. Well, I'll have you know it was miserable. Quick time events are awful, up, even no, outside man. of God of War. Fun. The impulse I feel is the concept known as fun. Quick time events are never fun. You've been tricked. Yes, there was a David Cage that came and messed with my buttons. Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. And use it slowly. Use the keyboard whenever to send the message. Okay. Yes, Mario. Yes. You right are there, illiterate. Give this message to Luigi. Save me. The end. I hope that doesn't get the mistranslated. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. Data that I thought was fun. David Cage must be made to punish and Burn for his sins. You're weird. You're you weird. are mistaken. I am the world's best and only com perfect computer. You're still weird. Do you know how weird that is? Good night, Princess Peach. That's extra weird. Don't say it like that. I'm sorry, Peach. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> I've been trying to make a how reference for so long. I just haven't had the opportunity. Oh yeah, here we go. Hell yeah, Bowser. I'm British. I'm pretty. 
I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. I just want to run out there. It's Lord Snowstorm. I just got that piece of spot in the town up ahead. Of course. She's in the town up ahead. It's genius. They hide in the first level. Very good. Then I'm off. Those fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> I love you so super. Some sort of super Bowser. That's exactly what we're playing. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Oh my god! Wait, is this actually, like... Oh my god, it's got the layout of the first level, doesn't it? Like, the f actual first Mario level. Probably. Oh my god, it does! Yeah, that is the first Mario level. No, like, I lost the meat! Oh, Behold, man, that is this amazing. is true power. It's also way too short. Yeah, that's the, uh... I like that Bowser can't fit through the castle door, so he just sort of walks into it and gives up. <laughs> that's hilarious. I I think they revisited the concept, because that was like a, a perfect recreation of the first level. They revisit the concept in New Super Mario Bros. as a way to introduce the, the, the giant room. Uh... Makes sense. Oh, hey, welcome to Pedalberg and. Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! It's a big, fat, smelly man! It's the guy we committed treason from! Humph, what a wuss. J yes, hide, chickens! I have no need for any of you. What do I need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. I swear, my Bowser voice and my Bowser voice. Bowser over nice. there. Kamek, you become even more indistinguishable from the sound of my washing machine every day. Bingo. You don't even have a washing machine. I'm the one that does all your laundry. Man, that was easy. This is easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greetings. You may speak in dots all you want. But you cannot stop what is about to come. Hey, clearly she's never come with joy and you left her speechless. I did it made it rather complicated. <laughs> Gra -ha 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 -ha. I see, I see. How refined, how elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Am I a even silent princess? That's a wonderful thing for a flower, don't you think? Yeah, I guess I'm. No! My my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. I keep it on the outside of my house, just to fool people. P poster? I've been fooled by a poster. I didn't see. I didn't see that coming. Though she was a bit two-dimensional. Great. That's one more dimension than she usually has. Just great. Now I look like the huge, mighty king of guy who talks to posters. I believe they uh, went back to this concept for Super Paper Mario. Because oh yeah. Ba Bowser's move set is nearly identical. Nice. Which is jump and breathe fire. I mean, to be fair, that's his move set in Bowser's Inside Story as well. Fair enough. I guess they wanted to keep things simple. I mean, what else can is Bowser going to do, like, other than punch? Thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. Like, set my people on fire. And set my treehouse on fire. We're standing but more at... importantly, help us commit genocide against those j the j what are they called? Ghiblies? Jabbies. J we... Oh, okay. We can go back to our peaceful let way of life now. On to the murders. No, that's no point. Hey, it's kind of sad to see you go. I do love fun so come by when you want to chat a while.
I can chat so much. I even got this prison award, the last of his heaven. Please yeah, come. we'll see you. Oh, oh wait, oh, was yeah, that, that you? That, that, oh, that was you. Okay. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm the okay. fat guy. We'll see you again. We'll work together from now on to anything like what happened again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario, and how to sharpen the sticks into pointy weapons. This technology was lost to us until just now. Oh, I shan't be the last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta-ta. We hope to never see you again. Otherwise, you may be our enemy in the next battle. See, see you, you, Mr. Mario. Hey, uh, we, luckily we got a choice of war here. The last of the, the jabbies to uh, hear me as I... Tell regale a tale of how when we had a great flood. It, it... What a strange people! I hope they survive the plagues I brought. Oh, you certainly know they're not going to, and although they could survive by staying in the corpses of their fallen enemies. Oh, mercy me! Sounds like mayo. So there is one thing that I do dislike about this game. Uh, hey, the, the mail you get I'm from Peach. I'm concerned about me. But please know that I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you, especially with your illiteracy problem. The friends, the fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can, and I'll email them again if I uncover anything. Okay. You must know I miss you. Well, I miss your brother. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we spend the carefree days again soon. Princess Peach. Oh, is that precious Mario? Okay, so in the previous game, Paper Mario, short 64, um, the game originally had Peach tell you where the next item is. This has been changed. So, originally, she was the one giving you pretty much all your information. So, she'd play, like, mini-games, and she'd fight fights, etc., etc., etc. They changed but that now, for this one. I like her role in here, because it she's not helpless. She's actually doing stuff from the inside. Yeah, but... She still doesn't really do anything until, like, the end. Eh. Nothing, none of the information she ends up giving is actually useful. And, oh, and, and none of it is something that you don't find out beforehand. Oh. I, I think that my favorite uh, role for Peach is in the uh, Mario and Luigi uh, sagas. Like Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story. Fair enough. Uh, I, I I would go into depth, but I don't want to spoil Superstar Saga for you. No, I've I've been spoiled on that ages ago. Oh, so you know what the mid-game twist is? Yep, it turns out Princess Peach was the villain all along. Nah, she could talk all along. They yeah. steal her voice and replace it with bombs, but it turns out it was Birdo in disguise. Yeah. Princess Peach was Birdo all along. Birdo is cute. I'm going to be honest. I, I do like Birdo. She's amazing. Yeah. I should draw Birdo. You should. I've never drawn oh, Birdo, which is weird. Really? There's a lot of characters I've never drawn. I haven't drawn Mario. Birdo is the character that said trans... Birdo crawled so that uh, Vivian could walk. Fair enough. But yeah. Vivian doesn't walk. She doesn't have legs, so... You know what I mean. Perhaps I do, perhaps I don't. It'd be weird if you don't. I mean, it's not a really hard concept to grasp. Fair enough. Uh, big rippy to the spin top, tribe. Yep, just rip them a new one, as the word yeah, goes. Yeah, let it rip. I was really a Beyblade. into Beyblade as a kid. Remember the episode of Beyblade where Moses part of the sea? Oh, hey, there's a thing wall. Yep, that's where exactly where I was going. 
No, no. Uh, there we go. You gotta find the right angle for it. Uh, the happy heart partner badge. Yay! I can be your devil or your angle. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Don't call me that. I will call you whatever I want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> call so... me what you want. Call me what you need. So we are yeah. about to head to... <sighs> We're not even going to be heading to the next chapter yet. This is going to take a while. Oh, is that... Uh... Once you get to the next chapter, isn't that when you're going to take a short break or something? No, Mario, the crystal star. So we're going to take the short break after we beat the next chapter. And I don't know how long that's going to take, since the trick with the next chapter is it's all combat. Oh, God, that's awful. Yeah, so that that's the gimmick of, uh, of the next chapter. So you spend this chapter doing a lot of other stuff before you get there. So it's very story heavy. Oh, okay. <sighs> What's heavier, a pound of feathers or a pound of story? Or what's the heaviest, an entire city that flies? Yeah, that is. Uh, I'd say that City That Flies is probably kind of heavy, since uh, since clouds are heavy. Oh, messy me! The next star is made an interest. My my. It's my. not yours. It's mine, mine, mine. But correct me if I'm wrong. He's a Guy, I wonder what that means. <laughs> it's not like you can fly, little funny man, you pokey little flab biscuit. Is that just going to be like a running gag now? Because you just call him pokey little flab biscuit because Mario Sunshine was a thing? Yeah. That means that beneath this town, the thousand year old ruins remain intact. Oh, I wonder who said that. It's me, Mushroom Bernie Sanders. The joke's so old it gives twice. The joke's so old, it's almost as old as you. Aha, funny. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we mu have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. That's all seven of them. You gotta have all seven. Well, that's just death. So why would they want to seal a treasure away at all? Do they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? Well, it's possibly a tomb for the pharaohs. That's going to be the twist. I guarantee it. It's actually a tomb for a great and noble hero. Well, it's not what? I don't know. I am an ignorant buffoon in a land of ignorance. Oh, frankly, please. I will frank you nothing. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. Was it the Probably plagues? Probably the treasure. It's the, it's, I guarantee you, it's the plagues. The plagues. As said, darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. Mushroom Moses was our great and noble ruler for the longest time, and then he did that. What a jerk. Didn't he split the seas with the Beyblade? Yes, and that is how they found the Mushroom Kingdom! Oh, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of the Crystal Stars that's floating on the map? Very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating city of Glitzville. Oh, that sounds glamorous. It isn't! It's a, it's a hive mind of scum and villainy. It's a stunning hey. arena where great warriors engage in fierce battles. It's basically the Roman Colosseum. Oh, Valhalla. Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. Oh, that sounds like my kind of place. Her the floating is... city, you say. Her boob is talking. Yes, that's supposed to... Is Mario supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. I can fly there my own, but... Well, if you had coops out, this wouldn't be a problem. 
It's a, spe a special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. I'm always a fan of seed. Hmm. I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all the tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. Don't worry. If you run into a ga gang of people snapping and singing at you, that's part of the appeal. Oh, yes, I've seen that story. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate Head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Oh, this sounds like this Don Pianta fellow. I can't wait to meet him. I'd say your biggest worry would be cement shoes, but you don't got boots. Yes, and also, they would clash with my jewels. I'd never wear them. He's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. Did you hear about the time he burned an entire orphanage for the money? Creepy I stuff. I about the time when he removed someone's entire torso and threw it in the river, wrapped up in cellophane. He's a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Watch me get hey, an audience please. with him Have in you 10 seen seconds. Flat. My hips. I can get an audience with anyone I please. Alright. So let's power up. Do you want to power up Flurry? Do you want to wait for like the next person that we can power up? Let's go ahead and power up Flurry. Yeah, fair enough. She, she, she's going to be useful for this entire chapter. Shazibi! Shazobi! Shazam! I'm the great wizard Shazam! You get the strength of Hercules! Wait. Then you may go! Did you ever see that movie where Wonder Woman kills a bunch of small children? Yeah, that's Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah. There, uh, the Flash movie is supposed to be uh, taking inspiration from it. I would not be surprised. I hope that they do Flashpoint Paradox. I would love to see Wonder Woman and Aquaman fight each other. What's the Trouble Center? So the Trouble Center is basically a bounty board. You can do like minor tasks, like need a key, safe delivery, price adjustment, find this guy, hit me, please. Oh, God. Wait, what? Musum, Let's go hit the Million here. I need some help jogging my memory. Meet me in the Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. You're attractive. You're sexy. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all my moves. Well, yes. I know. He wanted us to hit on him. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, Luigi! Luigi! Okay, we'll deal with the mission first, then we'll get back to Luigi. Okay. Is that M M Mouse a million? Sniff, sniff, sniff! You accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. Can't have been that good. So I wanted to use shock therapy to treat and try to remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hammer until I remember. The concussion must eventually lead way to something. Otherwise, they wouldn't tell you to do it. If you hit me after I remember it, I'll forget again. Okay, let's do this. Yo, use B. I just can't remember. 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 Oh, hey, Mario. When did you get here? That's it! I remember now! I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop at Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin profit in Pedalburg. Now hit him again. I re Let that tip be your reward. Don't spend all those profits. Nice. Now hit him again. Ow. Sniff. You smell that? Something smells a little like perfume. Yes, indeed you do. You got someone in your party who wears a lot of perfume? Or is that you? 
It's surprisingly Mario. All right, here we uh, go. Hey, Mario. Nice you... to see you, little piece of shit. You want to hear about my latest exploits? They're so much better than yours. So, I went to a Rumble Bomb Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. Uh, it was an incredible quest. And there was a danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty nuts, so bro. You want to hear about what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes! Okay, I'm going to be totally honest. When the Game Grumps played this game, it pissed me off so much that they decided the funniest joke was literally to ignore Luigi. Which is a shame, oh. because these stories get, like, absolutely bonkers. <laughs> hey, sounds good to me. Uh, which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Rumble Bump Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here's how it goes. As soon as my ship docked at the Pudding Continent, I set forth the volcano. Uh, to reach my destination, I spent several days fording through the dense jungles. Uh, scary beasts were all over. More than once I was done for. I may have screamed a bit. I did scare them all, but, you know, fate would have it. A blooper named Louie heard me shrieking and came and found me in this one town. And Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in their own town, they call him the White Torpedo, and he's not even white. Yeah, he is a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me find the Rumble Volcano. Uh, this place is bubbling lava pores and heat that makes the sun sweat. You know, like the sun in Sarsaroland. Uh, and the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect compass peace. Uh, the scariest part was the gigantic 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. And uh, now the weakness of the giant statue bro was a red gem on his forehead. And uh, now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach the thing with my long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit the weak spots. Ah, oh, you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and huckled Bluey, Bluey up there. And the bullseye is the white torpedo. Save the day. We got the jewel whacked. <laughs> hey, it was a critical hit and the stone and statue crumpled to pieces. Uh, once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. I believe she was in another castle, but I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it on the base. Now the compass is pointing west to Plumberry Village in the Shrewder Continent. Uh, so I set sails there uh, once again and uh, came back to Rogueport to recharge. Uh, that's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. So let's hear what Bluey has to say. Actually, let me move. Yeah, who's voicing Bluey? I will voice Bluey. Okay. Are you going to voice all of... Uh... Uh, Luigi's companions? Yeah, of course. Why not? No, I don't want to have Gumbello. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm going to make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. You'll all pay. Really, Bluey? That's Luigi's yeah. blooper friend, Bluey. He's, he's really hard. He finds it. Wait, it's totally hard to find bloopers on dry land. He seems peeved, though. I wonder why he looks all fried and golden crisp. I've been turning to calamari, man. Do you know how hard hey, it is to justify that? I know where to find another lava pit, so unless you want to keep... Unless you want to be going in for a double dip, then I suggest you keep your mouth shut. You're a sick man, Luigi. An absolutely sick bastard. Oh, please. The only reason we're actually here is so I can tell you to Don Pianta. Okay. He loves calamari. To be fair... I have not shown you the west side of town yet. You want to see? Sure. West side. West side, best side. Oh, yeah, because the chef was uh, blocking it because of her contact lens. Ta-da! Oh my god, is that a casino? <gasps> yes. There's a fat boy. I love the 
of Fat Bomb. I want to voice the Fat Bomb. So we're gonna ignore this because it's the Happy Lucky Lottery Board, and it's literally just already determined. There's no point in going through it. Okay. Well, I wouldn't go through it. Hey, it's Link. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Let's talk to some of the townsfolk. Oh, we're just breaking into this person's house. Yep. Oh, let's let's see what the little kid has to say. I'll voice. I'll voice. My mom just plays games all day long. She doesn't have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. His mom's a gambling addict. Oh, I thought she was a gamer. Ugh, my wife spends all day in the pilot, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun, too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. But I gotta write my memoirs. The memoirs of yeah. the Toad. The, the Glitzville matches are amazing. They burn shit down so fast. Going to the theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the dramas so much is because I live in t a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. I wonder where she went. Did she die? Perhaps she's hiding in the woods oh, with the little mushroom people. Or perhaps she's with an Italian uh, plumber who is also a loser. Okay, so... And not as good as his brother. Oh, hey, can you fall into that grate by turning sideways? Oh, yes! You finally noticed. Because I can. Awesome. I spy a, lo a level in the back with the star piece. Yep. Welcome to the Underport. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, chess. Yep. So all these people got cursed? Nope, this is just the Underport. Okay, so there's probably just some other way in that they go to. Yep. Who is that guy? He looks like Mr. Popo. But he, he, like he, he's he's a information broker. He he looks like the uh uh the censored version of Mr. Popo. Eddie the Mask, a sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Yeah, I do. I know everything. I know about the plagues. Is there something in the alley behind this shop? Hi there. Welcome to uh, the deep down. Welcome to the deep down depot. What can I get for you? She sells gold. Solid gold. Is that useful for anything? Uh, it, It's good because you can sell it for like a greater profit in like some places. But it's it's just a bit unnecessary. Slow yeah, okay. shroom. I heal HP slowly. These are all like the really good items. The problem is it's like... Hella expensive? Yeah, it's hella expensive. This is like endgame yeah. stuff. This is like when you're pushing 999 uh, coins and don't know how to spend it all. So you can go into the alley back here. No, there's nothing there though. Oh. thought there would have been. This game does do a good job of, like, environmental, uh, direction. Howdy, my name is Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two, you better believe it. And who knows, the stuff I know might even be stuff that could help you. So you want to ask me a question? Just speak up and ask away. Uh-huh, <laughs> something you want to ask of old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about the big door. Nah, I think we know about the big door. You just gotta get the seven keys. If you need to know seven. stuff, just ask me. Uh-huh, something you wanna ask old monkey right? If you pay me five coins, I can do about the Piazza Pala. Oh, that's actually a thing we need to know. There's a game center on the west side of Rogueport run by Don Pianta. There's a hidden game that few people know about. Only members are allowed to play this special game. Well, that's what old Wonky hears. If you wanna try it, you'll have to find a member's card somewhere. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask a wonky. All right. All right, Barkeep, what do you got to tell me? This is a special refuge for all who cultivate information. Herb T's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. I never want to speak to you again. 
I know stuff too, seriously. Like when the wind blows, the crater will fall. I just don't know Mario. why it falls, because no one tells me. Mario, it's been so long since I've seen you at the battlefield when you deposed the evil king. I remember the war. So many bombs died. So this is neat because when I do the butt bounce. You get a little bit higher? No. Uh, what it does is there's bits of the environment that shake when you do this. And if I find those places, I can get an item from them. I just don't know of any nearby, so that's part of the issue. Oh, behind the column. Behind that column. The the one that's standing up. Yeah, right there. Oh, no. Get, you were just, like, right there. Oh, I thought I saw something. It's a bit more obvious. You'll know when you see it. Oh, look, it's a locked door. Whatever could be here, we may never know. You ne don't need to know. I'm, why am I asking you? <laughs> Can you get that? I'm guessing the pipe goes back there. Yes, it does. No, this goes down. This goes down. Down, down, down. down. Where is this? This is Undertown. This is like an entire section of map. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, there's a thing you can blow. Yep. Get to work, Flurry! Oh, hey, that's the good... Oh, oh I'm a fool! I'm a, I've been you bamboozled. You're a fool! That's it, you die! Don't die! You and stupid die. rat! Boom. I don't even know what his name is. That man is a mystery to me. Oh, hey, you got flower. And gradual syrup. Oh, oh no! It's a... It's a secret. It's a, boat. it's a boat trip to the Waffle Kingdom. I don't want to run into my brother. He's probably doing so much better than us. Oh, oh those are spikes. That's not good. Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. Deepest level reached, zero. Record power bounces, zero. Star pieces found, nine of ten. I thought I said nine of a hundred. Oh, you just found the star nine, piece. Nine of a hundred, yes. Did I say ten or a hundred? I meant you to say one hundred. Alright, so this is neat. It gets you all the way back here. Oh, shit! What a plot twist. Yep, what a twist. Uh, so, so I was watching this, uh, I was watching this thing about, um, all the horrible stuff that happened during the production of Wizard of Oz. Yeah, it is so much worse than I thought. Like, the only one that I knew about was the uh, original Tin Man getting a horrible reaction to the uh, aluminum powder makeup. Makes sense. And uh, Okay, before we yeah. continue, I want to ask you something. So there's two what? ways to do this. To meet with Don Pianta. I can either, because I already know how to know the secret, just do the secret and talk to Don Pianta, or I can show you the original intended way by the game devs. Uh, is the original intended way a mini game, or is it just boring and? It, it, like, you talk bunch... to people. You gotta you gotta talk to people oh, okay. and figure stuff out. No, no, just go straight to him. Okay. So what you gotta do is you gotta get to talk to this guy, and this guy tells you. But we're not even gonna mess with him because, like, that he he charges you like a hundred coins, and I'm not that lifestyle. Oh God, yeah, no, don't. Like, what are we peasants? We're not gonna spend a hundred coins for information. Okay, so if I recall correctly, it's a dried shroom and then a sleepy sheep. 
I might be wrong though. Or is it a dizzy dial? We'll find out when we get there. Yeah, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. When we cross it. That's my favorite Malifor. Fair enough. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. Yeah, it's a it's a portmanteau of we'll cross that bridge bridge when we get to it and don't burn your bridges. Basically, what it means is uh, when we get to the problem, we will fuck it up. Oh, hey, there's a crack in that wall. Yeah, but we can't Can deal you break with that it? yet. Okay, so what you gotta do is you gotta buy a dried shroom. And oh dang it, I'll have to sell some stuff. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, so, sell the shroom fries because those are easy to get. Yeah, but these are my basic healing items. I know, but you can just get more later. I, I think the issue is that I don't want to get rid of my healing items because I have to buy mushrooms to use them. <laughs> Remember? I have to I have to buy right. a mushroom. Then I gotta go to Zest Tea, and I don't want to like All get right. rid what of. All right. What about like... the Volt Shroom? I can do that. And is the Slow Shroom useful? The Slow Shroom has like healing items. Uh, let's sell the M coupon. Why not? I like that this Boo is like whatever this world's equivalent of the uh, Playboy Bunny is. Here we go. All right, mister. What color is your mustache? What color is it? Black. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Oh, uh, let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. What if someone just, like, actually wanted to buy those? Well, nobody wants to buy the Dried Shroom. It's actually the most useless item in the game. It's here as a... Most people look at that and be like, oh. Uh, you know, that's pretty clever. Because mm -hmm. you, you gotta buy the Dried Shroom first. It's not like you're buying two useful items. It's you're buying a worthless item that's actually way too expensive. Do you know how much HP you get out of this? One HP. Oof. Can you cook it? Don't know. We'll try that later. Yeah. Watch it be you cook it and then it's like feel fi heal 50 HP. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Is that Don Pianta? Excuse me? You wanna? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, no, no, no that, that's like Italian mobster, like uh, uh, Marlon Brando. That's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. But I gotta say, I respect your mustache. I'm always a fan of a guy with a good mustache. You want I should you... run this bum out on a rail bus? Look at him. What a rube. A you... rube, did you call me? I'll show you who is a rube. I'll beat your face into a bloody pulp with my hammer. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not oh, you so have no idea. Pain is my mistress. Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. But it is when I'm angry. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got that? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? Well, I need to go to Gleetsville. You want to help some broad that got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dam, you got, you're out collecting the crystal stars? Yes, that's exactly what I said, word for word. Why did you say it like that? The crystal stars? Her boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue, don't listen that loud. The treasure is real as I am. Lady, I had shrooms today. I ain't sure if you, I'm real. 
Everyone, yeah. just shut it. If I don't, I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to risk some, rescue some skirt he fell for. I Let's made my... We wear skirts all the time. I made I'm my decision. I made my, my drift. I made my decision. But you do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I mean, not sure I like the sound of this. Okay, what you gotta do is you gotta take the shovel, and you gotta dig a hole six feet deep. Now... Don't mind that I'm sending Vinny with you guys. He's got a loaded gun, but it's not for you. It's for someone else. Oh, well, don't be on that. I have a counter offer. Go to the pharmacy, speak to the pharmacist, and ask for a little thing called Viagra, and use it to go fuck yourself. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. It's your dick when I'm done with you. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Yeah. Boss. Nobody's gonna disrespect me on this, the day of my daughter's wedding. And it's not with the Frankie. They're, they're eloping. <laughs> that's literally the joke. It's I figured that, I mean, it's the mafia. He mentioned a daughter. Of course it's gonna be this, the day of his daughter's wedding. It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swell my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. Uh, yeah, I stapled their clones to my voice box. What you gonna do about it? I made posters of them. I was able to do with the money I, I, I made selling some coop, uh, a poster of some broad. And just put so it outside his window. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Oh, it's okay. We got that good luck from a fortune teller. Okay, we're out of here. We're, we're, we're leaving town right now. Uh... I'm going to guess they're in Petalburg then if we're leaving town. Nope, nope, we're, we're out. We're, we're taking the boat and we're heading back to the Mushroom Kingdom. This ain't worth it. We're done. We're done. We're toast. We're... This is can only end poorly. We're we, out. We, we got we to gotta join Luigi on Waffle Quest. Yep, that's, that's what we're doing. We're out. We're out. See. We're out at 5,000. You, you see this? Mario is leaving town. He is... Yeah, with... he's in debt to the mob. He's in debt to the mob big time, and we're out of here. We cannot stick Audi around. 5,000. Yeah, it, the world is so big, there's no way we're going to be able to find them. Yep. Yeah, it's best to just run away now. Yeah. Oh, wow. This. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah, they'll never find us in the Mushroom Kingdom. Princess Peach can go save herself. Hey, you waiting for the boat? Oh, there. Are you... Are you trying to run away from the Mafia, too? My goodness! Everyone here is just trying to escape the Mafia. What have you done, Flurry? What have you done? Oh, please. You can't prove that I did anything. Oof. I don't have fingerprints. Oof. Oof. I'm... Ha! <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> sleeping with the fishies. Enjoy sleeping with the choo-choos. So what's your story? Hey, back off, you creep. I don't... Do you want something, or do you just like sliding up people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take it to him? Bring it. What should we do? Daddy finds us now. Oh, I don't know. The boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time.
No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francisca, <laughs> baby doll, if we can just talk Kamala with the boss, he'll understand. Remember He's what going he... to cut out your torso, just like old Jeff last week. I was about to that? say what he did to old Jeff. I'm telling you, that was beautiful. Yeah, he used your favorite knife for that. And let you wrap up the torso. And th that's where we met, right over there. You were dumping the body. I was over seeing it. At good times. Oh, don't you love me, Frankie? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. That's because he killed everyone that else loved me. So let's go. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us. We can't keep running forever. This Mario man's too good. If we I'll flee to the Mushroom the if if we run to the Mushroom Kingdom, then what are we going to do? We're just going to be running. This Mario guy probably lives there. Oh, Frankie, the harder you burn the flames, the harder they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish the flames of my fashion. And by that, I mean the passion in my loins. I want to go on a honeymoon. You see, mister, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? No way! So, you want me to do this one? Yeah. What did you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way. But we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go confess to Don Pianta that we couldn't find his daughter. Well, yeah. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to the Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. It would be unfortunate. Yes, the terrible luck that involves losing my torso. Yes, it's, it's his signature style, I've heard. Torsos wash up around Rogue for so often. And the strange part is, limbs and heads never get found. What's in the box? There's a reason why his main force is Goombas. As you can see, they don't have torsos. Have you, so have you ever seen Seven? Them. Huh? Have you ever seen Seven? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, I, I have. Uh, the thing I was specifically referring to was 13 Ghosts, though. Okay. Yeah. 13 Ghosts, there's a ghost known as the Torso, which is a, uh, which was a guy that got in debt with the mob, and so they cut off his limbs, wrapped in his cellophane, threw him in a river. That's pretty dang brutal. Well, it's a mafia kill. What do you expect? Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're going to brighten my mood, so give what you got. You know the whereabouts of that, too? Sure, then I'll tell you. No, I can't tell them. I, I'm, I'm too good, and I cannot break apart this love. I will accept being a no, torso. No, tell them. No. No. What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here to say that to me. To me. Do you I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine. We're going to need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait. What, you want to see? Yes. Me what? and Frankie need something to watch while we're on a honeymoon. <laughs> Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Frankie, so back you come, head hung low with your tail between your legs. That ain't my tail, boss. No, daddy, don't hurt him. I was the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said that we should come back and talk to you. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. Take my torso instead. If you gotta push anyone, it punished me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's all my responsibility. All the blame right here. Well, clearly you need to punish both of them. I'll watch. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough! Quiet! Both of yous! 
Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Oh no, that's the poison shroom I gave you for breakfast. Ah, oh, you really are my daughter. Daddy. Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, daddy. Dad! No, wait, I mean boss! Big boss. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go! Sniff. But Seska, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? Goodbye, Danny. Farewell and thank you. I'll be sure to expand your empire to the Waffle Kingdom. Uh, I guess we're done. Well, then we need to talk to him. Yeah. You still here? Huh. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's like a deal. Like the up in this. A deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. And I'm gonna get my mafia empires expanded to the Waffle Kingdom. I know you were the right man for the job. Thanks. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. He's excited for the Waffle Kingdom because that means that he'll get a uh, blooper calamari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go sell sell my um ill-gotten goods. Wait, hold on. First, you should see if you can cook the dizzy the dried shroom. Okay, yeah. I should do that. Yeah, that that is a good call. Yeah. Well, no, we've done my, it. Mario. Next up, like next up is Glitzville. Oh, that was you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got an email. We'll never read it. Yeah, it's probably from Luigi. I do like that like most of the townsfolk are customized. Oh yeah. I mean they copy paste like that one model of like a Goomba with a link hat like ten times, but like the rest of the yeah. models are it, like it's probably just a oh you just pet yeah. It's probably just like a popular hat style. Now you want me to Oh wait, what was the voice? Now you want me to cook for you? Fine, I'll cook up your dried shroom. Let me just mix these up for a second, Mr. Contact Squisher. Dilly blah blah blah. Actually, I'm gonna head back to the um, to the help center because I know she has a job for you that if you do it, she gets you super food. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out quite right. Hey, it happens. Take this. Yeah, that, that's that's mistake. where it goes. I wonder what this makes. Probably a mistake as well. Yeah. Watch the fire. If it poofs, then something's wrong. Yep. Uh, uh. What does the um, mistake get me? Probably only one HP. One HP and one FP. So that was better than what I oh. got coming in. So. Yeah, yeah. It's one FP better. Who knows? That'll save your life, probably. Oh, you're just eating it now? Yeah. I figured we were going to save it for the final battle where that one FP would come in handy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to just eat it now since, um... Since I want to fill... To get rid of some space. Uh, makes sense. Yeah. There's a tonic fire flower. Let's grab this real quick. Let's grab one fire flower. 
and one mushroom yep. to cook. Yep. Oh wait, you wanted to go to the help center first to try and. Because I'm guessing she wants specific ingredients. Then, if she has a uh, quest. Oh well, my god! I just left that giant chest on the platform. Can you yeah, actually get to that and open it? Not yet. I think that's clever because it looks like a um... part of a store or a building. Because it doesn't look like what it is. Because it looks like a water tower. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize it was a... Uh... Do you need Emergency? Trim, oh. plenty. Or an item. No, we're not going to deal with that. Um, I think there are price adjustments, safe delivery. Oh, I'm hungry. Is that it? No. It, it's specifically from Zesty, so... Okay. We're definitely Zest... not there yet. Oh, is Plenty and Zesty siblings? No. Uh oh. They're not related? Not that I don't I'm see of. anything that you can blow. Oh man, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing a search around just in case there's like something I missed. Makes sense. Uh, my sister is listening to uh, my chemical romance in the other room. Oh, oh nice. Oh hey, there's another one up there. Oh I'm guessing you're gonna get a suit. Oh that's probably how you get to the uh, chest if you can walk on the ceiling. Nope. Or on the roof. No. Nope. No you. Oh man, that would have been clever to jump on the roof and then jump from. Roof to roof to get to it. Yeah, there's, oh, but... there's a special way to do it later. But I don't get that until the final chapter. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean about the water tower. Yep. It is a really nice uh, detail. Yeah. Oh, can you go between it and the wall? No. Nope. Okay. So, uh, where's the blimp located? Well, the blimp is located where you expect a blimp to be. In the train yard. Not sure that adds up. Of course it does. I mean, I guess maybe if blimps are the trains of the sky. See, here's the train right here. What if I told you? That there is an entire chapter. Oh, I see the blimp. I, I see the blimp. Oh, no, you already told me that there's an entire chapter that takes place on a train. What if I told you it was an Agatha Christie murder mystery? That doesn't surprise me. Honestly, that probably is a very obvious uh, thing, considering there's not much else you can do on a train. Take me away, blimp! To the heavens! I don't want to be on this world anymore. I don't want to live on this world anymore. Oh, that oh my beautiful. god, that's adorable. It's beautiful. It's it beautiful. It's, it's, it, 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 there's only room for like two people on that blimp, which is never a good sign, but... <laughs> well, I mean, well, it's extremely expensive. They probably don't... Plan well, technically, there's like five people on it. Chapter, chapter complete. three oh, of Glitz three. and Glory. Oh, I thought it was going to be like Glitz and Glamour. Yeah, probably. All right. You it's... ready to start chapter three? Yes. So we're going to try and see how far we can get. We might just uh, stop out after we reach the... Um... The Super League. Okay. Because as I said, this is mostly combat going forward. Alright. Uh, each chapter has a companion, right? Yes. Except for the last one. Oh, makes sense. Uh, the last one's probably like Peach or something, if I had to guess. Well, not like companion companion, but... Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, this place looks marvelous. Ah, oh, so jolly. What? Look there in the corner. It's Elon Musk and Grimm's. Ugh. <laughs> my my Glitzville. I've heard of the Glitz pits. It's full of brawny brawls. I must admit the prospect of some hurly burly gives me a touch peak. There's unique dialogue for every character in your party for, for going to these places. Oh, nice. Is that a chain shop? Do I have to fight a chain shop? God, I can't remember. It is so adorable. I love the chain shop. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. All right, let's swap to Gumbello. Yeah, we probably have new enemies to to look at. Oh, it's the Shadow of the Blimp. Oh, I no, I yet. can't get it yet. I guess I know what power-up you're getting this time. A super jump. Or it's probably going to be the companion ability. So, this is Glitzville, huh? Not a bad place if it's a little on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of the hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shout out to build a vacation home here. Daddy, I'm hungry, and I want to eat a hot dog, and I want to eat it right now. These three are my favorites. You see them yeah. everywhere. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's Elon Musk, Grimes, and AEX12. <laughs> oh my god, I forget that's what he called his kid. I had to look it up because I also did not remember the exact <laughs> stupid. Act. So I'm going to make it very clear. I hate the Musks. Like, I hate Elon Musk. He does, He's not an inventor. He's not. He doesn't make anything new. What he does is he buys patents and tries to pass them off as his own idea. Fair enough. That's. Not surprising. That's how most billionaires yeah. make their money at this point. Yeah, no, it's he's even worse than Edison was at it. By the way, Edison also a huge asshole. He did not invent the light bulb. He bought a patent for it, and then, uh, and then, oh hey, is that the girl? Well, uh, well, Mr. Mustachioed Man, we meet again. Oh my god, that Lakido is adorable. Is that a peanut? I don't know. I think that's some sort of, like, blob. Oh my god, this is tanking the frame rate. <laughs> oh god, I'm not surprised. Oh my god, it's John Cena! So many assets on screen. Yeah, no, that's, uh... Well, this is totally awesome. Check it out, Mario. Someone's about to catch a real beating up there. That's right! Mm, I think it's about time for you to feel the ROCK! Oh my god, it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oof. Stay down, pincushion! You don't want more of this! Why'd you even show up? Oh my god, can I voice the other guy on screen? You hear me talking, Wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the boot. Yes, you can. Tell you okay. what, do about a million push-ups and then comes the Uncle Rock Hawk! I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again! Oh, we champ, that was a great a whooping. And your thoughts on the match? Wait, you thought I was gonna give him a silly voice? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in Stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it in a cage match. 
I'll fight even Spider-Man! You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I, I hate hurt you. you made fun of the sweater my husband made me. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the Crystal Star. Yep. I like that the TV in the background shows. Actually, the TV in the background shows what is going on the screen. I could see Gumbella's face on it in this scene. Well, Mario, look. They're on the champ's belt. Isn't that the Crystal Star? Ding. Hey, why is the camera focusing on an Italian plumber? Oh, yeah. It totally is. It's got the sparkle. It's got to be a Crystal Star. Why would it be in a sweaty old pit like this? Because it's on the champion's belt, Gumbella. What are you talking about? It's obvious. Well, I'm not a wrestling fan. I only watch real sports. We oughta... What What do you think we ought to do? Can we, we can't just steal the nutcase's belt, can we? This stinks. What are we gonna do? Steal it! Steal it! Steal it! Come on, Mario. Seriously? We're the good guys here. We can't do... It. We're the quote-unquote good guys here. No... Our only option is to, for you to kill all of them and win the belt for us. I want to see that so bad. So, that's, uh, seems like that's the plan. The Magic Koopa. The Goombas. The, these are the real threats, I'm telling you. A Chain Chomp. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. There's Jake Tapper. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Yeah. Shoots them up with steroids. Well, hey, welcome to the Glitzman. Here's a savage battle every day. I am getting better at my toad voice. Fair enough. I want to speak it's to a, your boss. What's that, Bob? You want to become a fighter? Mm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mrs. Grubber's office is down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. All right. I love the baby toads. They're adorable. Yeah, they're they're very small. Yeah. Okay, save point. It's always a good idea to keep save points in mind, body and soul. What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Fight fighter bub? All right, go on in, Mister Grub. Is this inside? All right, Mr. Grubber, I want to be a fighter. I won't take no for an answer. Oh, what in nation are you, son? Who let you in? This is Grubber's office. Yes, that's me, Grubber, and you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. I don't have a hand to knock. These hands are for fighting. Well, you're an athlete. You want to be a fighter. Ooh-wee! That does change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. You'd be surprised, but most people I hear give him like a voice like, Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and oh, raring to go! Yes, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and raring to go! I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my days, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Normally, I only am play muscly boys, not poky little flab biscuits. So, you want to be the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Don't skip it! All right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. Now, we're gonna hand you a contract. It's covered in blood, but... Well, poor Bob, I didn't give Pokey's Petruda for fancy and big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way through fame and fortune and riches. And you know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now... I can't mix up this ring or two, but I earned enough to set me for life. You're ridden me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they're not yours exactly. 
Yes, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. <laughs> You're reading me here, son. Yeah, I guess. That's a spirit, Chief. Yeah, let's walk and talk. Come now. So this is basically, he's going to be explaining how this this entire system works, and I do n Do you want to talk? Yeah, let, let's let's not, like, I, I'm guessing it's, oh, hey, uh, grind until you can beat the next opponent. Nah, th so, so he's explaining basically what every room is going to be from here on out. Okay, see this? This is a champion's room. Uh, it's a deluxe, and you'll become a champion. You'll get the key to this room. Now they ain't all uh, the tops, the big money, and screaming fans. Yes, no doubt about it. Apply yourself with a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Howie wowie! I can sleep on a bed with tigers on it! And now we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contestants here. What do you think, huh? Not that exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. It's totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, damn it. Now then, I'm sure you know this already, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and talking about to champions ain't gonna be an easy thing. But that's the point. It wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. Now I can see your fire. You got the fire to it. You got the eye of the tiger up there. Rocky Balboa is wrecking. suing you. Oh, please. This is wrestling, not boxing. You gotta be the champ. I can feel it. I've never been so sure about another fighter. You say that to everyone, don't you? <laughs> hey, one more thing. Don't touch the yeah, I a contract to be a fighter. It's nothing, just take a second or two and sign your name. You signed the contract. Best thing you've ever done now. Mario, that's... That's a bad handle. What about the great Luigi? I hear he's making a lot of names for himself. Uh, so why don't we give you a punch as a fighter's name. Get me... Let's see here. Bam, bam, oh, I got it. From now on, you're going to be the great Gonzalez. Ain't that a beaut? Dang, if I... It's the stroke of genius, the name is good. Comes around once in a lifetime, you hear me, Gonzalez? Yep, everyone's going to bow before the great Gonzalez. Now make me proud, son. Oh, and we get to business side out of the way. Uh, by the way, you uh, signed away all your merchandising rights. So, Jolene, can you come in for a moment, darling? I'm voicing Jolene now. She's got a banana oh on her God, face. Oh my God, I love her. You, you signed away your rights, stupid voice, sir, when you s decided to be Grubba. That's fair. Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Oh, here's a lozenge. Get that cold taken care of. But this is a great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Wonderful. Nothing shocks me, as you will notice that my tone will never change. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and so foremost... So you're kidding about signing away the merchandising rights, right? I, I plan to have a Mario Land opened up soon. Nope, we're serious. What Mr. No. Grubber says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, and if you after the picture, would the contract still be legally binding? Cannot quit until Mr. Gubba releases you. There are many other small godlands that I'll explain as they become relevant. I'm not so sure that I'm liking where this is going. I believe I made a huge... Hey, it's a Game Boy Advance! 
Here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, so you just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grebel will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't Pretty you sure try it Atomic once? Purple Game Boy Advance. Walk up to the screen and log in by person A. Then pick Reserve a Match. All right. Welcome to the automated match res reservation system. What is your command? Yeah, let's go ahead and reserve a match. I don't know. Howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't worry about them. They're a piece of cake. Just mop them up. Be warned, though, they fought in the Mushroom War long ago, and were almost... They survived toe-to-toe -to -toe against the great Luigi Brothers. So, if you got any questions about the rules, just ask Jolene. Well, good luck. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an well, opponent who ranks it. above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. <coughs> If you satisfy the condition and win, you will battle the high-ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11, you'll get a shot at the major leagues. Okay, so it's basically regular fights, but there's a, uh, a bonus objective that needs to be uh, completed. Yep, yeah, now I'm just going to wait for security. Let's let's talk to people. <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. Gonzalez! The the match time. Follow me, Bob. Security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Grack, mustache is a fighter. Take care, Take of, care of yourself, dog, and don't make it don't make any rookie mistakes, you know what I mean, rookie? Alright. Sign me up for death. Oh, you'll wish that you were dead when I'm done with you. <laughs> All right, it's a it's a two v four against the Goomba Brothers. Two v five. A two v five, actually, yeah. Squaring off Squaring next, off folks. Next, folks, is the happening hop hardheads, the Goomba Brothers, and the newcomer hankering for a hammering is the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Brothers have been waiting and. Uh, getting all hit up for the fight. Let's check in. How do, Goomba Brothers, are you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! Are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Wedding just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tired of punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now just to save time later. Well, I will call the ambulance. And is the great Gonzalez now striding up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up here in late, like he owns the place. And by guts, I mean his pokey flab. I'm only a late because no. your security guard took me on a tour of the back room. Well, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk! How many bars are hold? None. Appeal at least once to the crowd. Well, man, these cowards, they attacked us before the bell even rang. No, that is it. Come on. We're not losing these punks. We're going to throw some hands. Ah, quit crying, will you? That was like a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? So I'm gonna... You look like the kid I beat up in high school. Wait, Jonathan? Jonathan Gooms? Is that you? 
I noticed that our that our crowd is completely made of piranha plants. Yeah, they can't even see. Boom, match over. Yeah. Suck it, Jonathan Gooms. You and your brothers were always a suck. I got one star point out of this. Nice. Ugh. The Greg Gonzalez wins. Tell me, what was your first taste of victory like? That fight, what a joke. He's gonna be a heel. I want Mario to be a heel. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you saw the whooping this kid's got skills. And we got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear for him. The Great Gonzalez. Oh god, that sounds horrible. <laughs> so many assets. Oh man, I'm so glad you're doing it because considering how awful the game ran on my computer, uh, I noticed. I'm pretty sure that would just crash. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, some fighters gotta play for the crowd, you know, pop them up more. Yeah, I'm hoping you give them the old razzle dazzle next time. We understand them each other? Good, I'll be on my way then. Jolene will give you your fight money. See you. I'll watch your career with great interest. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We get paid for this? You got three coins. Oh, nice. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match in the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. Do not leave the glitz pit. You you contractually obligated to have a microchip put in your head that will explode if you try to leave. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? Oh, it's this guy. I'm, I'm KK, K K just a bush league like bush league scrub like you. Go, good meeting you, man. You look like a stand up dude. I can't wait to hang out with you. So why don't you meet the gang, huh? Here's Mr. Monster Crash. Nice to meet you, bomb. Well, now that we gotta know each other, I will give you advice, bomb. As Mr. Lean was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Grover's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranking foes, bomb. If you can't clear them, you bomb end up battling a lower ranked fighter, bomb. You can't climb the bomb ranking fights fighting at the bottom of the barrel, bomb bomb. Yeah, my man, you know, he's got some speech issues, but he's got some good advice. I was arrested for trying to blow up a church, bomb bomb. Not just always, sometimes, bomb. Advice is always useful, bomb bomb. Right, man. Anyway, uh, lean the machine over there is Bandy Andy. His fight is like piss easy. Okay, so they're just introducing the characters and he's just saying how to appeal to the crowd and stuff. Yep. Okay. Seems pretty basic. <sighs> So you, oh, you yeah. rest between fights, which is the important part. Oh, that's so that heals you up and fills your flower power, I'm guessing? Yep. I, I believe there's, oh like, um, people who, like, take the challenge and don't heal at all, which is... What, what, what do you mean, take the challenge? So th there is are people who will go into this and be like, I can do this on my own. Like, oh, they don't need here? to heal. Oh, shit. John Cena. Ha ha! Everyone wants a piece of the rock! It's a rough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me, yeah? Because everyone loves to rock! Watch this. Oh, yeah. Can you blow them away with, uh, what's her face? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, this is quite a crowd, Mr. Mario. Oh, I guess he can't. Some of them, I guess. I, I have to smack away others. Rock me! Hey, champ! Cheep, cheep. 
I do like the the designs they got for like all the lacketes. Oh yeah, I like the one with the backwards cap. He kind of reminds me of the asshole from uh, Mega Mind. How? You know the incel. How? Yes. Yeah, that was his name, wasn't it? Hey, you! That ain't cool. Don't beat my fans just because you ain't got none. Well, 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 Miss Mustache. I suppose I'll cheer you up in the shadows, my sweet. You scare me. Oh, please. Is it the blood on my face? I think it's the blood on my face, isn't it? Oh, man. I do love the design of this area. It's very colorful. The glitch This game has really great. good environments. Check this out. I'm a hot dog. You are a hot dog. Is that a pig? Hello there, you customer. The aroma of yum in the air is the specialty of Glitzville, my ho Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. You want to buy one? Uh, sounds perfect. Nah, I, I don't have the. I don't have the. Um, I don't have any space. Oh, that's lame. Yeah. So we've we've done that. Uh, let's, let's go back and do some fights. Okay. They're so just fighting all the way. Yeah, they'll they'll tell you when they want you to do other stuff, and because they'll take away your ability to fight for a bit. Okay. Uh. And he said we're just gonna get to the major leagues, and that's when. Yeah, uh, well, let's see if we can get to the major leagues. All right. Uh, did they say that was? They said ten, right? Yep, we are at nineteen. Okay, so we just gotta kill. Ranked eighteen in the glitz pit. The KP Koopas. Ugh. All right. Yeah, we're gonna Long. we're gonna do an appeal again. Yeah. Okay. Hey, dog. It looks like your next match is against me. Uh, good luck to both of us. It doesn't matter if we win or lose, as long as we have fun. Are oh, you switching to Coops? You're gonna die! You're gonna die, you little punk beach! Actually, hey, now, I think that's kind of rude. That's kind of a bit uncalled for. Actually, I'm gonna switch to Gumbella, since I want to make sure I can get the, um... The info? Yeah. Uh, do, does their info, uh, come up in the trash can, since they're unique things, or do you get a chance to refight them later on? They, they become more frequent enemy type. Oh, okay. They're they're basically upgraded Koopas. And our next blah blah blah, it's Gonzales. We're gonna lose. We're not gonna lose the scraps like you. Meet my peeps, hey. Gonzales. I told you we're gonna fight square off, and now it's on. Now it is on. Hey. And battle. Yeah. So, so the is... dialogue gets pretty repetitive here, outside of the introductions. So that's fair. Uh. What is Grubba? What what is his species? Is he like a a weird? Uh, I do not know. I don't know. I'll look it up. Dang it! How do you spell his name? I want to look up to see what he is. G R U B B A. All right. Blah 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 blah. blah. His species is Spike. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no, I'm looking at Spikes. He's definitely one of them. Uh, when did they first get... They were first in Mario 3. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what did Spike look like in Mario 3? Oh, yeah, no, that's that's adorable. Spikes are yeah, adorable. Yeah, yeah, spikes are like little frog people that throw spike balls. Boom. Oh, you're finished. Oh, I didn't appeal, damn it. Oh, big rip. I'm going to have to fight them again, dang it. Yeah, big rippy. Fool, I'm a big beluga. Big bazongle. 
I have Booby the Fool. Hey, hey, that's a beat, Matt. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way, though, next time, you know what I'm saying? You don't get another chance. You die oh, in... I will get another chance. You die in one move this time. I can well, no, can you still need a appeal? Yeah. Uh. Appeal. Okay, so we're going to start with having Mario appeal, and then we're going to have uh, Koops do it. Yeah, and then it, there's just going to be the flying one left. Is the flying one counted differently from the others? Yeah, it's it's a different species. St same general stats, though. Yeah, okay. So you don't need to look them up? I already did. Oh. I did both. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I missed that because I was looking up Grubba. I like that they take their keys from the Squirtle Squad. They kind of do. They do look a bit like the Squirtle Squad. Don't forget to appeal. I won't. Cute. Oh, hey, there's x knots in the crowd now. Yep. And some uh, uh, punies. Yep, we're bringing the world together, you know? Yep. We all know oh, that the Ah, shoot! World... Damage boost! Woo, woo, woo! We're damage boosting! And... We're damage boosting! If there's anything to take away, it's that the world can unite by watching people beat the shit out of each other. Damage boosted! Woo, woo! Nice. Counterattack. Boom. Death. Nice. And we have a winner. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. He's your fat oh my... money. I must be going. Mr. Grubbin needs those bodies buried. Yep. The pulse uh, Oh shoot. Yeah. I'm... Oh, that sounds like you're gonna need uh to get Goombella out to Yep, we got the the general idea of this match is we gotta do this one fast. Oh yeah, pokies regenerate, don't they? Yep. Well, in and this one, the... The, the condition is I have to beat them in, like, three turns or less. Ew. Luckily, you have that fire flower. Yep. Gonzalez and the pokey triplets. Yeah, scrub like you. Go ahead and touch us. We won't hurt. Too much. I love the Pokies designers in these games. They got like cat faces. It's like a cat. Yeah. They're adorable. Can you imagine having some pet Pokies like a cat? Five turns or less. That's the condition. Okay. A pet Pokie is basically a pet cactus with a personality. Yeah, yeah. Just don't touch them because they're spiky. Now, logically, since they're plants, they should be weak to fire. That did not kill them. Well, that's not going great. Uh, switch out to... Uh... Boom, I win. You, you, you honestly you probably could have opened with that since that did more damage than the flower flower. No, it did it did two damage. Yeah, the flower flower did one. No, it did three. It did? Yeah, the flower flower did three damage, and the pokies have four HP. Ew. I received four coins. My ranking went up to seventeen. Nice, just seven more enemies. I must be going. 
<clears throat> don't forget to get a rest. Hey, uh, when you finish beating down poor fools, you're looking good. Okay, you don't press your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh no, we're gonna see Bandy Andy. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, I will we'll ban you from the glitz pit, understand? And your contract will be terminated, and you with it. Ah, oh, man, you got, you just got, you're just a magnet for trouble. Sorry, King K, I didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Nah, don't worry, be money. Jolene you can take that too and shove it up her ass. So, uh, what's got you chasing yeah, that girl away, man? Uh, you got a little thing for her? Shut up, Kay. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. What a jerk. Yeah. I kind of Goomba. Be... Goombella looks like she is stoned AF. That's just her low HP face. All right, what's our next match reservation? All right, then, let me see. Your next one will be rank 16 of the Gits, but the Dead Bones. They're a bunch of... Um... Yeah, the, I, Dry Bones, I'm guessing. No Flower Points, dang it. Okay, I can do oh, this. Man. Straight Attacks. Yeah. Uh, have you... If, if they're just... Okay, so there's no timeless, so you can be patient. Uh, probably using coops to do the shell attack to hit all of them. No, uh, that's an FP move. I can't do that. Oh! <sighs> I gotta take Jim them Hammer? on hammer at a time. The old-fashioned way, if one's to be honest. Makes sense. We're gonna take the skin off of your bones! We're gonna make it dry, Gonzalez. We're gonna take your face off. Off. I freaking love God, it. God, I love face off. I could talk about face off all day. Let's like, talk my... about face off all day. Okay, so my favorite thing about face off is Nicolas Cage's performance because he's not playing Nicolas Cage playing Nicolas Cage. He's playing Nicolas P Cage playing John Travolta playing Nicolas Cage. Like, it is so great. And it's so over the top. It's absolutely buck wild. Uh, last, um, last night, I was playing Drawful with some friends. Uh, and, oh, hey, they're dead. Yep. Uh, I was playing Drawful with some friends. And what my prompt was uh, Choir Bad Boy. <laughs> and so I drew Nicolas Cage from the intro of uh from the first scene of face off you know where he's the preacher in the choir after setting up the bomb oh my goodness yes i remember that god i love nicholas cage that that is a great so, movie L literally it's just like great action scene the great action scene and there's like a decent story in there oh yeah i mean it falls apart the plot falls apart as soon as you think about it I'm I'm assuming he's just giving general advice. If anyone gives you a lip, just kill them. Oh uh, god, what it hurts. hurts? Keep quiet. My foot. Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. I apply pressure right there. Ouch. Do we have a gag? Maybe. Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy, out of the way up there. Well, uh, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey, man, this is brutal sport. It just happens sometimes, you know? Oh, don't forget to rest. I already... I, I, I haven't used any points, so I'm fine. Health? I'm at max power. I literally I blocked that attack. Oh. Uh, what was I saying about... Oh, yeah, I was playing Drawful, so I drew... Yeah, I, I, I drew Nicolas Cage in the first thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the plot of Face-Off falls apart as soon as you think about it even a little bit, but that's fine. Because, uh, it, like, it's a plot point that they have different blood types. 
the face and body would have rejected each other because of it. Yep. But suspension of disbelief exists. Well, and... see, the reason the... Um... Well, they did have that plastic mask over it to keep their... Like, to give it the proper bone structure underneath yeah. the face. We're gonna but... spike bomb you into submission, punks. I'm about to stop. I'm a dom, and I'm gonna dom you right on this stage. So I have to let them hit me three times for this. Yeah. You can't block... I can, but I might as well just let them deal the damage, you know? Yeah. Uh, does it count if you jump on their spikes? No, I have to let them attack. Uh, shouldn't you have swapped to Goombella? I probably should have. Fuck, oh, you. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Does that count as an attack? No, it does not. Alright, then you should probably just switch to Umbella. Oh, shoot. I did the wrong thing. That's two. Come on, attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, and never look back. <laughs> that That is still a good movie. Yeah, it really is. That's a lack of two. Tack has a higher body count than uh, Mulan. Oh, shoot, you're right. Yeah. Like, he killed tens of thousands of people. Oh, shoot. I forgot uh, these guys with... have, like, high defense. Okay, that's three hits. Let's do this. Time to kill them all. A Glitzville Spiny. Oh, come on. Go Yay! Bingo! Max I think HP. that's the first time we've gotten that. No, we've gotten it before. Have we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we got it uh, as flower power. Yep. Boom! Yeah, uh, Tack is... It's a good movie. I like the recobbled cut. I think it did pretty well. I'm glad that it went with the idea of the thief not having an internal dialogue because I think, like, I, the thing I like the most about it is that because they don't, because the thief and cobbler do not talk, it's all expressed through body uh, language, and the animation is fantastic. The animation is insane. Robert, Robert Williams uh, really outdid himself with the animation for The Thief and the Cobbler. Yeah, I, I'd say that it's on par with, like, James Baxter. Like, in in terms of skill level. Maybe even no, higher. No, definitely higher. Roger Williams is the guy who wrote the animator's uh, guidebook. Oh, really? Yeah. The, I didn't the, know that. The animator's survival guide. Like, e even uh, James Baxter relied on that book, I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, every, wow. Every, I did, I every did not know that. You, you know the phase bumping the lamp, right? No. So. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, 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 because that was Roger Rabbit. They had the uh, lamp bump just to give him a little bit of, like, to make it, like, he, uh, when, in the uh, uh, handcuff scene, when they were, comp when they, they were sawing it, uh, Roger Rabbit uh, accidentally hit the lamp and made it sway, and that was something they did not need to do, but they did it anyways to give it, make it more immersive. Yes, so one of the neat things about that movie, and I will always stand out for this because it's su such a cool detail, is when making the movie... Oh, never mind. Yeah. We'll, we'll do this scene first. Yeah. Uh, who's, who's voicing it? That's the thing, yeah. So bad! Behave yourself, egg! No, bad! Come back! Help! You, my important egg escaped! Somebody catch it! Alright. Time to scramble this bastard! 
I'm guessing that's probably a Yoshi egg. What? Why would you say that? Because it's... Has there been an egg in Mario that wasn't a Yoshi egg? It's totally. got spots. Jesus Christ. Come on, you had it there. Can you just run into it? There we go. Eventually, it just decides to hop up here. Most awfully bad! Come down from there, bad egg! How am I supposed to get it now? You, don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. It's snoozing, though. The egg snoozes. It's got. Well, it's on an egg timer. <laughs> egg timer. Yeah. How do you get it? Well, what you do is... Oh, there's a thing over here. Dun 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 dun. Mystery hidden stairs. Made out of posters. Yep. That's cute. Oh my god, it's John Cena. And his name is John Cena. Da, 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 da. We should name the. Uh, I, I I do know this part. You, you get to name him. I, okay. I do remember what this is now. So there's a neat gimmick. The color uh, I, is determined on like how long it takes for you to hatch the egg. We should name it John Cena. People have actually been sending me messages on what they think I should name the egg. Really? Yes. What are some of the suggestions? Uh, scraps. Like scraps and of paper. Is pink a co is Oh man, that's actually clever. Is pink a color to... I think so. Pink is a color. Did you hear that, Mario? You want us to help your little eggy waggy? It's so adorable. What should we... <laughs> what should we do? Help him! No. Help him! Oh, no. Fine. He's only a heel on stage and in private, but there's a lot of people watching right now. Oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. But, but... Awesome. Did you hear that, little leg way? You're free. See you around. Huh? What's that now, Eggy? You want to follow us? That's it? Uh, do you want me to look up how to get pink? All right, follow us. Yeah, uh, sure. Like, It's just a timer. Legit. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Let's see how long we have we we have to time ourselves to. Uh... Timer starts now, by the way. Uh, pink is fifteen to eighteen minutes. Oof. Okay. So, if if I can wait that long, I'll try my best. But. Uh, what is it? What flag is hatches it? So after the, there's a major fight. Um. Before you get to the major leagues, and it's a made to lose fight. So okay. once you lose it, he hatches. Okay, so it's once where rank 11 is when he will hatch? Yes. Okay. So, okay, so, uh, so watch the timer. I am. Uh, well, you're the one that has the uh, timer. Well, you have the timer because I'm, I'm looking at the game. Okay. Okay, so it's 11.08. Let's give. Give ourselves a little wee, wee lay time here. Yeah. So let, let's try to aim for pink. Yeah, we're going to aim for pink. It was at, uh, I'm going to say that it was probably a minute or so that we had been uh, going. So that was probably at like 158 is probably when it, so once it gets to 140. 14 is when we should hatch it. Does it happen after you lose or before you get to the fight? After you lose. 
Oh, okay. Oh, hey, it's these assholes. Uh, we should probably tattle. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. I forgot what my condition was, dang it. Oh, what the fuck was that? Sound like fireworks just went off. Or a gunshot. I'm not sure. I live in Texas. Ah, oh, dang it. No, sleepy sheep, no. That's not good. Th this enemy beats itself, by the way. I love those one so? sheep that... So, what they do is the bandits, once they steal stuff, they run away the next turn. So, you gotta kill them before they, um... Oh, no, and the sleepy sheep, it's... That's it. I'm, I'm doing Ur Tremor. Oh, what does clock out do? Yeah, Ur Tremor. Let's do this. Oh, you're using this already? Yep. Yeah, I'll get it back, don't worry. Uh, what are some other names that people suggested? Uh, most people didn't suggest names. Uh, that's the only one I can recall. Oh, okay. Dang it. Ah, oh, big rippy. Ah, uh, well, still, I still did it. I normally, did I, it. normally I wouldn't have done anything, but I do not want to risk losing that, uh... Two of them are still alive. Oh no! Dang it! Hey, that means you might be able to tattle it. Nope, she's still asleep. I lost my honey syrup. Was that useful? That that increases my FP. Oh no, that's actually really bad. Well, since we're not worried about fights uh, right now. Yeah. Okay, so so what's our time right now? Uh, two oh one. Uh, we've it's been about three minutes. Okay. I'm gonna do a. What did you, what did you say, man? What? I'm trying to remember. Like he just told me something. He told me something, and I'm like, uh. Uh. Did you not get the, uh, did, did you not do the proper stats or something? I, I missed something. Oh, well, whatever. Well, uh, your next opponent will be... The mind bogglers. The... No, neat. Wrap it up five turns or less. Okay. So he's got a date. That's his justification. Okay. A date, huh? I would, I would say, say that's, that's probably with the secretary, but I think the secretary, I think they hinted that the secretary and the mask guy might be a thing. Oh, they're the things from Bogley Woods. That means we don't need to tattle them. Yep. That piranha plant just talked to me. Well, I mean, it has a mouth. What do you expect? It talked. That means it has sentience. That means it has sense. And? Its death must be made swift. I mean, every death was swift in... that we had done. My time moves off. I thought they were aiming at Mario. I did too, to be honest. Hey, healed. Thanks. Yeah, we have about 10 minutes before, uh... What are the other colors, out of curiosity? Uh, let's see. Uh, there's green, which is 6 minutes. Uh, there's red, which is... Six to nine. Uh, blue is nine to eleven. Orange is eleven to fifteen. Pink is fifteen to eighteen. Black is eighteen to nineteen. White is nineteen plus. Okay. Uh, so that means we're we're aiming for pink. We're probably gonna get white if we don't get pink, or we're probably gonna get black if we don't get pink. That's fine. Black is a nice color. Yeah. Uh, what should you name it if it's black?
I'm trying to come up with a, with a good name. Dynamite? What, uh... what about dynamite? What about dynamite? Listen, man, keep uh... it under your hat. But I'm thinking about retiring soon. What's a what's the name of like an edgy My Little Pony OC? Donut Steel. No. Uh, Swift Skies. Black Adder. No. Oh, oh man. man. Uh 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 fuck. Ah. Uh, uh, so this is oh, a man. no name special is... moves fight. Let's do this. All right. Rowan, Rowan Atkinson. Atkinson. You should name it Rowan Atkinson. Where Rowan Atkinson? Uh, he plays the Black Adder in the show The Black Adder. No. Gonna, gonna give you no. What about that. Rowan? About just Rowan. R Rowan, I don't like that one either. I don't, I don't like right. naming char fictional characters after real people. That's okay. fair. What, what about, about Gonzalez? Gonzalez? I don't know. See, see, you're Gonzalez. You can't have a of a uh, a second Gonzalez. Gonzalez Jr. What about Waluigi? What about Joshi? Joshi? Yeah, yeah like, like the Yoshi, but with a J. I oh, just Josh. Mm. Shoot. Mm. Once they take damage, they explode. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to look up different types of paper. This this fight's over. I've lost. I can't even block. Oh, thank God. I'm lucky. What, what about, about parchment? parchment? Or crepe? Mm, I'm not feeling that one either. All right. No, 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 no. I lost. Yeah, I'm a fool. Uh, he, uh, you, you have food. You have shroom fry. No, I'm not going to survive. I'm not going to make it. Uh, it's barely enough. I believe in it's you. It's only 9 HP. I'm going to die. Oh, Ow! thank God! Holy shit! Yeah! I told you I believe in you! Was, Was that, that five, five or less? Uh, you, you should, should probably rest and then save. save. Yeah. Because it seems like things are starting to get hard. A, a little. Uh, wh what, what rank are you at? I'm getting close. I think I'm like... Uh, I'll check the rankings in a second. Yeah, after, after you save. save. And I'm going to check the rankings, and then I'll save. Yeah, we, we got, got about five, five minutes, minutes before it's time to uh, hatch. The green's always. The punk rocks are next. Okay. Okay, so we, we got, got that fight, and then we got to waste a uh, few... Oh, wait, because it's, when we lose, that means we can just waste time on the final fight, right? Yeah, so we're going to have to... So, so we, we beat, beat this one, one and then, then we lose, lose the next, next one? one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right then. Let's see. Your next one will be ranked 11 in the Glyphs Pit, the Punk Rocks. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? Cool. Oof. Good, good thing you healed and saved. saved. Yep. To be fair, even if I lose, I only get knocked back. I don't actually. Oh, you, you don't, don't die? die? Yeah, I don't die. Okay. They're not that brutal. Well, well we, we can't, can't afford to lose because there's not enough time to... to, to yep. If we, we want to get pink. pink. Yep, no time to waste. Yeah. It, so, so, if, if we, we don't, don't get, get pink, pink, what do you, do you think... Do you like, like the name Crepe? C-R-E-P-E? -E? That's a food, yeah. I'm thinking. 
Well, well I mean, it's, it's also, also a type of paper. paper. There's, There's crepe paper. paper. Oh wait, I'm, I'm gonna like... No. Yeah, yeah there's a rock. Boom. What, what about rice? rice? Like, like rice, rice paper? Hmm, I'm not sure. This is always tricky. Uh, actually, actually what are some, some good, good egg, egg dishes? dishes? I'm thinking, what is a good egg dish? I'm a fool. I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a fool. Oh, what, what about, about quiche? 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 No. Hard boiled, maybe? Sunny? Maybe. Sunny set up? Yeah, let's do let's go with Sunny. Okay. okay. I knew a guy in uh, high school named Sunny. Really? Yep. What about Alright, it's over, I won. I do like Sunny. S sunny or side up. Let's do Sunny if it's not, not... If it's yeah, <laughs> sunny, would be really, really funny, funny if we, we get, get the black Yoshi. Yoshi. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go, go with sunny, sunny if it's not pink. pink. Uh, we, we got, got about a minute, minute so, so we, we have, have to lose. We we, we have, have to basically immediately go to the next fight. fight. Don't, Don't even bother saving, saving and healing okay. if it's intended to lose. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh. Blah 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 blah. Come on, we're in a rush. Oh, that's, that's the, the next, next opponent? opponent? No. Oh. They're wasting my time here, dang it. It's, it's fine, we have 60 seconds before the, the window, window opens, opens up, and after, after that, that we have two minutes. minutes. Oh my god! Ten the armor harriers. Boom. Okay. I gotta finish this in five fights or five moves. Five things or less. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Cool. I'm just gonna Good. let him Perfect. smack me about. Not even gonna block. Uh, actually, I think I can run away. Will, Will that, that automatically? I automatically lose if I run away. Yeah. All uh, right. Because I know I can't damage them, so I'm gonna. Mm, how, how much, much damage, damage do, do they, they do, do per turn? Uh, I'm not even gonna bother. Like, I I know they won't. I know they deal like enough enough damage to knock me out. But if I do that, then I'm probably gonna be waiting a bit. Yeah, he's a heal. Yeah, look at these guys. Okay. They don't look too tough. They're covered in spikes and they can't be hurt by anything. They're also wearing red and green. They're trying to steal your style. Simmer down there, bro. You stink water. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. Okay, is our window open? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna bum around a turn just to be safe. No no no, I'm just gonna, leave leave. No no I'm, leave, I'm, I'm, leave. I'm gonna hit him with the uh, tattle. I, I hope you know what you're doing. doing. Well, we got two minutes, so. Well, well we, we have, have about, about a minute. minute. Oh we're okay. Yeah, let's run. Boom done. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. We did it. Time's up. Come, Come on. on. Hatch. Hatch. Oh, what a bummer. If only we had some way of helping. Who's going to voice? Me. Ah, damn it. We got oh, orange. Oh, damn it. Orange. We, we were too fast then. Yeah, we were too fast. God damn it. I had safe and sound. Thanks, man. 
I, I, was, I figured because it's like the in-game timer must be like slowing down a little because uh, oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah oh well. Uh, uh, we, we can, can name, name him Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. That's, that's perfect for, for like a orange. I gotta repay yeah. you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest. Just leave it to me. Oh, I gotta come up with a kid voice. Oh, my name? Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. I'll come up with something. Let's see. <clears throat> I just want to. I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up really about it. So why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? We're going with oh Sonny. We're going with Sonny. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Is there um? Is there a fancy S in here? No, nope, there is not. But, but there is a, a fancy, fancy U. U. Oh shoot! You're right. Where is S? Oh, right here. Where's the fancy? It's at, at the, the top, top, top of the right. right. Oh, there we go. It's got eyeballs. Nice. It's, it's a, a smiley. smiley. It's, it's a smile. smile. I really hate that it's not QWERTY. Oh, oh man, we could have done, done AX, AX, whatever. <laughs> AEX. Hmm, hmm sunny, sunny, huh? Oh, oh wait, wait, that's your line. line. Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. Hell yeah. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Sunny. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking over this thing now. You see this? This is my boxing stance. Yeah. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. <laughs> oh my god. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. He's just straining to carry that fat plumber. This is mean. Yeah, I mean, has Mario ever been kind to a Yoshi? Do you know how many Yoshis he's killed just to get a boost in uh, jumping height? Zero, if I play him. There are levels in uh, Super Mario World where you do have to sacrifice a Yoshi. That is cruel and unusual, and I hate it. It's, it's the, the bonus, bonus levels, levels which, which are, are optional, but, but the, the bonus, bonus levels are also the uh, e yeah, are the fastest, fastest way to the uh, boss, like to the end. end. Uh, one of the levels is there's uh, so the, the thing about the secret, secret levels is you have the regular exit, but then you also have the secret exit. The secret exit is the one that progresses, and one of the secret exits is located behind the main exit. So, so what you have to do is you have, have to jump, jump off right before the the main exit on a Yoshi and then jump off the Yoshi to land behind the main exit without crossing it. And then just keep running further to the right and you'll get to the secret exit. All right, we're doing this. To be fair, All right. when I played this game when I was a kid, I did get the orange Yoshi. So Okay. So this is reminiscent for me. What, what do you name, name the Yoshi? Yoshi? I don't remember. I probably named him Yoshi. Makes, Makes sense. sense. No, I probably named it after myself. Oh. I mean, yeah, that was the intention, intention this time. time. We, we just were, were too, too quick, quick on the trigger. trigger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you really... Yeah. yeah. yeah it, it's, it's my... my you, you wanted to faff about for one more turn. And I, I, I thought... What, what is the, the item, item that they're throwing? throwing? Points oh. Swap. It swaps my attack and defense. No, wait, I'm gonna... No, I do that. Yeah. Yup. Oh, oh my god, god that's, that's horrifying. Ouch! You spiked me right on the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies right and deck. pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair! Oh dang, bro! Has he discovered our weak points? I do have a soft spot in my heart for enemies that, uh, where the trick to beat them is to make them hit each other. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. it. It's fine. You. It's just one more gulp and they win, or and then you win. I 
I really do want, want did want the pink Yoshi. Oh well. Yeah. I mean, I mean we, we did, did save, save with, with the, the Yoshi, Yoshi, right? Yeah, we did save before we did the Yoshi thing. I mean, if you well, want, we, we could, could try, try to... Nah, that'd, that'd be against the spirit of the thing. thing. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll deal with it. it. Oh, what we could always do is, uh, just because we're moving on to the major leagues... What I could always do is I could always just come back to this later and just try again and again for uh, Pink Yoshi. Eh. I, I, I think, think that, that might be against, against the whole spirit of the thing. thing. Fair enough. Okay. Well, it's your line. Whoa, Whoa Miss Jolene, Jolene, your manners. I apologize, Mr. Grubber. Don't, Don't worry, you're pretty little lad about, about it, it, none. Now, now what, what do you want, want again? Oh, oh something, something about Gonzales. Oh, yes. Gonzales. Gonzales, you old so and so. Let me congratulate you on the major leagues already. I had a feeling you were going to places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just you keep, keep putting, putting a, those tuchuses on the seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something something for you. Shoot, dirty it's a Hall of Fame bonus. Yes, something else that's been on my mind. No big deal, but someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. It's a costume. It's something hot pink. Maybe something with frills or something. You look a sight. I want that. Anyway. There's a Mario power up. Wrestler Mario. Oh, oh man. man. Uh, yeah. uh, so, so, once we, we finish, finish this cutscene and save, we'll call, call it a night. night? Yep, that seems like the most likely option. Alright, I'm, I'm guessing, guessing she's just gonna, gonna introduce you to the, the uh, Major League no, locker room. She does not introduce you to anyone. Oh, nice. It, it's to show that there's a difference between the major leagues and minor leagues. Yeah, yeah the, the major, major league, league is a lot better. better. It's, it's got, got a pink, pink Game Boy. Boy. <laughs> it's a rose gold the Game Boy. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Now, well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. By, By the, the way, way Gonzalez, Gonzalez, your son, son looks like he's about, about to die. die. Yeah, they don't even say hello. That, that's how you know these guys are serious. What's the deal? Wouldn't it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Yes, yes I, I think, think it would be... Oh, oh my god, god it's John Cena! Start the guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you? Ha! What a waste of time! What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Okay, the champ's belt. What in the hey? You get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked! Ugh, Ugh that, that does, does not age well. well. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzales. Fake! Oh, oh my god, god it's fake. fake? Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama you teach you any black biscuit? Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock! Oh, oh my, my god, god, he's an, an asshole. asshole. He's an asshole. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Yeah. Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt was a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? 
Oh, great. great. That, that just opens, opens more questions. questions. Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. It's from Peach. Who the heck is this X dude? He looks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out, though? That whole deal seems kind of whack. My guess is probably an x not. You know, because of the X. Probably, yeah. Or it's Mario's X. <laughs> it's Pauline. Oh my goodness. It's Miss Mouse. It could be Miss Mouse. I would not be surprised. Miss Mouse is, like, everywhere. Yeah. And she's already been established to be here. All right, so, uh, is that, uh... That's it. We, All right, we saved uh, over, so we can't go back and get ourselves a pink Yoshi. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for, uh, uh, watching on YouTube. Uh, if you like it, leave a comment of what you would name a Yoshi, if you got one. Um, uh, check out some of the other videos. I played some Bennett Foddy. Uh, that should be up on the channel. Uh, next, next week, week I'm going to be playing Symphony of the Night, Night, which is a much better game. You know what we should have uh, named the Yoshi? What? The only word that rhymes with orange. Porringe. Porringe? Porringe. Oh. You know, like, we just had a P on it, because yeah. we wanted him to be pink. Yeah, well, well hindsight's 2020. Well, good uh, night, everybody. Good night, everybody, and don't, don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that! Bell. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> All right. Got a night.